Hi Soul Garden family, I'm Sadika. I'm the Renegade Aromatherapist and I'm back to you today at the end of the month with question and answer. Did you know that all modern day medicine stems from, originates from the plants and the trees? Essential oils are volatile chemical compounds taken directly from plants and trees that give you that very powerful healing medicine. Today's pharmaceutical companies are just trying to duplicate what Mother Nature has been giving us since the beginning of time. But there's no side effects. So I'm just providing an option other than nasty side effects for you to work on your own healing. So for today's Q&A, I wanted to address some questions that people are often asking me. Siddika, medicinal aromatherapy and plant medicine is so vast, I don't know where to begin. So get out your pen and paper because I'm hoping there's gonna be a few wise nuggets that you might wanna jot down. Some common physical ailments and some essential oils that can assist you if you're suffering from them. So let's begin with inflammation. Inflammation often sets in because people are over acidic. These human bodies are just chemistry and everything we do affects the chemistry of our body. Now, negative energy poor diet, toxic environment, all of those things increase the acid in our body. When we are overly acidic, we become inflamed. And when we're inflamed, maybe it's my gallbladder or my liver, maybe it's my knee, any irritation, excuse me, any inflammation causes irritation and oftentimes pain. So some oils you can use to deal with inflammation. If you are having a muscle or joint issue, birch, Fabulous oil to use by itself to deal with that. Another oil that's probably one of the most powerful oils we have in the plant and tree kingdom, helichrysum. Helichrysum combined with birch, look out, the healing is gonna be quick. The lavender family also is an anti-inflammatory and did you know chamomile family is also an anti-inflammatory. I like to use the blue chamomile. I feel like she has a little stronger uh, kick than the Roman or the wild, but they all have anti-inflammatory properties. Now, another thing that people are constantly asking me, digestive problems. Let me talk to you about the importance of your digestion system. If you are not eliminating properly, urinating properly, digesting your food properly, you will not feel well. It's that simple. What's happening when your elimination and digestive system are lacking is you are literally poisoning yourself. The walls, get blocked up and the cells can't do their thing of pulling the nutrients out. So you're malnourishing yourself, you're blocking yourself up. And let me tell you, for those of you who have ever been constipated for a long period of time, you understand the hell that comes from that. So digestive oils are critical, especially nowadays when people are eating, excuse my language, such crap. You know, you really wanna be dealing with your diet. That's the most primary uh, focus when you're having digestive problems. People have so many digestive problems, they think it's normal to not poop or to feel bad and bloated and have, have pains. It's not normal. So you got to look at your diet first and foremost. And then here are some oils that can help you. A lot of the spices like cinnamon bark, clove, nutmeg, cardamom, all really fabulous. Fennel, the basil family, peppermint, and all you need to do is put 10 drops, massage into your belly once, twice, three times a day, and you will start healing from the inside out. Circulatory system, the heart, another big one, right? Circulatory oils, cardamom, nutmeg, cystus, a great oil for the heart. The lavender family works the heart. Um, a lot of the flowers, geranium, ylang ylang. Again, we're dealing with the heart on a physical level and we're dealing with the heart on an emotional level. Now let's talk about aphrodisiacs. Hey, I'm losing my mojo. Is there anything with medicinal aromatherapy that can help me feel juicy again? Absolutely. Clove bud, mmm, rubbed on the lower belly and then see what happens. Vanilla, champaka, 
Pretty much all of the really delicate flower petals are aphrodisiacs. And cinnamon bark, who would have thought? Put some cinnamon bark on the bottom of your feet and set your intention to feel juicy. Now remember, cinnamon box bark is hot, so you want to put it on the bottom of your feet or layer it on your body. What else? Immune system boosters, laurel leaf, helichrysum, uh, pretty much all the trees, the pine family, the eucalyptus family, they're all going to boost your immune system so that you're not susceptible to the cold, to the flu, to the this, to the that of everywhere you go. What's something else that a lot of people ask me about? Respiratory issues. Oh my God, this world has become a respiratory nightmare. All the stuff we're breathing in. Eucalyptus family, the tea tree, the kajaput, the firs, the spruces, all of them. Put them on your chest, put them on your spine. They're going to help you breathe deeply and be able to function fully with your lungs. The more you're breathing, the more oxygen that's going into your system, the more alive and healthy you feel. It's worth taking the time to start using some of these powerful medicines to assist the quality of your life. I mean, come on now. So many people complain about the price of real high quality medicinal aromatherapy. Are you not worth 50 to a hundred dollars? Can I just tell you what a hospital visit costs these days? Wouldn't you rather invest in something that's going to uplift you, give you optimal health and vitality and really nurture and support you? So I don't want to hear any complaints about the real deal. I want you to look at why do you think you're not worth it? So anything else that I think you need to hear? I think that that about sums it up because <laughs> I could go on and on forever if any of you know me. Once I get talking about this stuff, woof, we're off. So remember, drop me a line at renegadearomatherapist at gmail.com and I'm happy to get you started. I'm happy to figure out what oil is best for you right now so that you start living the life you deserve. So in closing, look into my eyes <sighs> and I want you to do something goofy. I want you to smile at me. Give me the biggest, cheekiest grin that you got in you right now. And I'm just going to receive it. And just know that I am smiling back at you. I'll see you next week. Have an aromatic day. So good.